Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have done a little bit of cleanup uh, off camera, which basically involved removing this entire wall, removing the wall bits here. I don't exactly remember that. I think there was one around here. Well, I didn't remove all of them, as you can see, just the ones that would impede our building. So we have a situation here that is interesting. Um, and I'm going to choose a solution that I hope won't backfire on us. If we look at the evolution of things, let's see. Oh, no. Hello. There we are. Evolution. We are at 0.24. This is not great. Um, if we kill more spawners, then I think it's going to go up quite a bit higher. So I'm wondering if it's not, if it's a wise thing to leave these spawners and instead race for oil, which I know there is oil out here. Um, we will have to kill a couple of these, but otherwise we should be able to get the oil that's down here. Um, I am worried about the pollution. As you can see, it is going quite far, uh, and that's because it's a desert. This is known to us, and it's okay. I'm glad that this pollution doesn't seem to be going f further past this direction. Though maybe we should kill these spawners, I don't know. Um, they won't respawn, so maybe it's it's a wise thing to do that. Maybe we should get a few of them since they no longer suck up as much pollution as they used to. Um, we could make some armor piercing rounds when, and I think that might be a good idea. Let me go ahead and set a few of those up um, so that we can maybe get that, that underway. Let me just add some lights. My goodness, it's dark over here. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, let's, let's take some armor piercing rounds, especially for when we are needing to uh, just do the, the base killing. Uh, and I don't know if we'll, we'll make them for general distribution just yet. Four, five, and six. But at least we'll kind of uh, sort it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's see, that goes there. We need, we can just use regular inserters here. Hello, Araminta. Greetings. Yes, my good pet. That's my Araminta. Came up here to sniff my uh, my teacup, and um, okay, let's get these guys going. And power poles. We need our power poles. I guess we're using these now. I've kind of forgotten a little bit where we were. It's been many days since I've played. I've been traveling uh, quite a bit and uh, just got back. Been playing a lot of Satisfactory as well uh, because of the weekend that is here. Um, okay, we need, we're going to need this guy to go this way. Um, so... Uh, yeah, and that's kind of a limited time thing that you can actually use or go um, to play the game for now. So let's see. Let's do something like this. And uh, these guys will pick up this stuff and we'll put this ammo in a box for now, I think. Let's go ahead and shove that in there and we'll get this thing. There we go. And we'll make up to one row worth of this stuff. Um, well, and having said that, I would like to make some military science happen because that's going to be kind of important. I think that, wow, this is extremely inconvenient for that kind of a thing to do, but we could be sneaky. We could be extremely sneaky. In fact, okay, we're going to be sneaky. I've decided because sneaky is kind of fun. Sneaky is really fun. And, um, oh, we can't do that though here. No, the sadness is real. Um, let's see. This kind of oversteps itself a bit. I guess I could either move these guys. I guess either way it would have consequences. Um, though I could do a belt braid, I guess, here. Do we have belts to braid? Mm, yes, we do. We actually do. Okay, I guess we'll just do the belt braid then. And we will, oopsies, excuse me. We don't have any of these, aha. Uh -huh. We go grab some, I think we had a belt maker somewhere down here, there it is, nice. Ah, and we have plenty of those too. Let's grab those, get some more iron. Okay, good, good. Now then, this is gonna start making armor piercing ammo, which is great. 
Ah, well, <laughs> it would be greater if I copied the um, <clears throat> recipe. It's fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go this way. And this way is great. Okay, take that one off. And this one can just be a little bit further. There we are. That's nice. Now then, uh, military science. I guess, what does it need again? Um, walls, grenades, and piercing rounds. Oh, jeez. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just focus on the good things. Oh, yes. Now, we also need more hot bars. Ah, yes. I was playing. Oh, dear. That means I have everything set up <laughs> a little bit differently because I was playing on my laptop and now I'm on my desktop again and um, 0 0.17 came out while I was in Norway. So let's see. Interface. Uh, here we go. We need to have do, 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 quick bars for please. Uh, do we want to pick the ghost items? I think we decided that we don't really like that. I don't remember. Anyway, it's fine. We were just like having a, a thing about this. Ah, there we go. We actually have these things set up in the game. That's that's interesting that it remembered that. Um, but I do want to get to change some things. Let's just choose this one for now. Put that on the hotbar uh, and go like this. And... Um, this one is going to be... <sighs> this is not going to be ideal. That's what it's going to be. That's okay. I don't care if we don't use the last row of labs. That's not really that relevant. But I do want to get some grenade stuff. Or some, not grenades, but uh, some of the science done for, for um, the military stuff. Let's see, where are we making walls again? Where are they? Are they up here? Like, are they very far away? Probably are. This is making furnaces. Um. Aha! Yes, our walls are here. It's not... Not especially ideal, but it'll be fine. Okay, and we'll just have an inserter placing them on the belt. This is all temporary. It's going to be moved very shortly, trust me. I think we'll put a fast inserter on here. I'm not quite sure what the wall requirement is for that, but we'll just... Actually, it doesn't matter since it's only one thing making the walls. That was quite silly. Okay, let's go down here and get all these things happening. We'll remove any of these walls if they are in the way. Ah, this is good. Aha, excellent. Okay, so where are we making this, um, these gray science things? Let's see, could it, do they fit here? No, not really. They do not fit there. Definitely not. We could make them here-ish. That wouldn't be too bad. What do we need exactly? We needed grenades, I think. Grenades, which are uh, coal and something. Are they iron and coal? Yes, coal and iron. Uh, so we just need to get some iron this way. So that that could work. I could make them here-ish. This could be uh, interesting. <laughs> we could do something really, really funky here. We could do... Okay, we're going to be really bad here with this. But it's going to be interesting, I promise. It'll be weird, but interesting. Um, I guess I don't need that. I could do this. have another one here. So if I go this one this way, like that, this one can go like this. Ah, we could do them all on the same side. It doesn't really matter. We don't have to have them that way. Okay, um, we just need 
two spaces between? One, two? No, more than that. Three spaces. One, two, three. So this one will go here. Go there. Okay. And then the ones coming in will be this way. And then we need another one going out. Yes. Okay, so that's just fine. Hello? Oh, I don't have any more. Okay. Need to make some more then. Let's grab these guys. Need more iron. Go ahead and put these um, science flasks back in the machines so that they don't get overproduced, so they are evenly distributed. But this is going to be making grenades for us. And we're going to... I don't know how many grenade makers we need. Probably several. They take eight seconds to make. Walls take half a second, but they are limited by the production of stone bricks, I believe, at the moment. And we need, oh geez, we need the ammo as well. Oh gosh, okay. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. But we have solutions for this. It is not a problem. It is going to be very okay. Now then, um, let's take let's take three of these guys. What I wanna do is we need to get, let's get the inserter this way, that way, this way. No, oh, it's going to be this way. I just want to make these all equal, even though we don't need it to be that way. But I just want to copy and paste this because it is quite like my brain is getting in a twist right now. <laughs> It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. Okay, uh, we'll have maybe four of these. I don't know. I'm not doing exact ratios right now. I'm just trying to place them down and figure out what we need to do here. There we go. Probably need more undergroundies. Yes, we do. We make some. There we go. Grab some more iron. Ah, we should be doing some kind of research, which we have not been doing. That's not ideal. Start the research on this. I probably should have gotten engines instead. Let's go with engines instead. Uh, let's cancel this one. Electric engines. Now, engines are needed for all kinds of things, like trains and cars and... Well, not cars, but I think they're needed for tanks. Yeah, cars... Well, oh no, cars need engines too, apparently. Um, How was I able to build a car without engines? Oh, those are electric engines. Never mind. Okay, so these are electric engines, which we need to build flying robots. Um, So that's that's one of the very important things that we're pushing toward next. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. Okay, and here we are going to be just fine because we have remembered that our power poles do go connect to three tiles away. Hooray. Now then, um, we just need coal on this line. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go here and take the coal from here coal going that way and I'll just put this uh, half a lane of coal is plenty enough now then uh, we can probably trim this off I don't think we'll yeah it'll be fine uh, now these guys I'm kind of wondering how which lane it'll put it on I'm suspecting it it'll put it on the right hand side of this but I really want to make sure before I put the ammo on this lane in order to feed into the science factories here just take stuff please Paste, 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 not paste. Um, drop, drop, drop. <laughs> Sorry, my head is still in a completely different time zone at the moment. I just recently came back from Norway and the flight and the jet lag is always quite, yeah, taxing, taxing, very taxing. Okay, it did come on the right, perfect. That's what we wanted it to do, or we didn't want it to do. I always think that the inserters should put it on the right hand side no matter which way this is facing so that's a little bit of a weirdness for me with the game but i have i've complained about it and no one has listened so it's fine <laughs> we have learned to live with this it'll be fine um okay we're gonna take this i'm gonna take out a lot of this ammo for now here have this there you go enjoy 
have a nice time. We're going to use the armor piercing ammo uh, in our gun. Okay, electric engines are done. Lasers. Lasers are what we really want. We're very serious about wanting lasers. Oh, no, excuse me. Okay, let's go here. And we're going to go... Let's see, we need to have it on this side here. Good. Okay, so this is going to feed both grenades and ammo into our... Uh, gray science arrays which are not here yet but they will be soon so let's go past here so here we have our walls coming down and we have um, stuff let's just go ahead and put gray science here I need to build some more assemblers as well now gray science is not used all the time so it's kind of where are my walls hello where did they go? Jeez, it's so dark here. Oh, hi. Whoops. <laughs> Slight whoops there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We got it. We got it organized. There we are. Wow. These two don't have output inserters. That's not ideal. We should probably fix this as well. I can't wait to get robots so that we can get everything fixed on time. And uh, nothing will be broken and suffering in the world here. No, no. Just fix little bits here and there. There we go. That's so funny that sometimes it makes the ticking sound and sometimes just the whirring sound. Okay, so here we go. Walls coming down this way put this here and then we'll get a few assemblers just for making gray science and hopefully some lights down here okay so we want to do this and we need more more oh geez come on there we go let me make some more inserters apparently i need more plates let's go and get the uh, the plates more iron more and more and more iron yay That's great. And I will also grab some of these belts and inserters off the line because it's very handy to do so. Why not? Just take them here. Okay. And these guys are going to be making gray science. So let's just set this up. And life is going to be better very shortly. Actually, we don't, probably don't need this here. We probably could use it like here. <clears throat> wherever that needs to go so we'll put this and I guess we could just use the long-handed inserter for this there we are very very nice okay and now we can use things we can buy things that have military applications like physical projectile damage let's take that 300 wow that's a lot of gray science all right let's go ahead and copy this uh array and then just make a few more of these guys out here okay that is not quite happy with that let's just place it down a different way maybe six or eight of these no idea how much we have how much we can support but what we should try to do really is um we should try to vary our research that so we do um, researches that pardon me it's hard to to think and, and build at the same time <laughs> anyway we should try to do researches that have military and then do ones that don't have military science I think that would be quite useful and maybe what we really need to do right now is not do the ones with military so we can actually build up some amount of military science so let's go ahead and do maybe robotics flying robot frames yeah let's do that what is this one? Oh, that's explosives nice okay um let's go ahead and get these guys place them down i'm pressing q to pick them up by the way and this one needs to go there okay great 
And lights. Lights are always excellent to put in unlighted areas. Funny how that is. And the cool thing is, of course, with the the way the labs work now, that the the um, gray science packs will be inserted into the lab, so that reduces the delay in starting up the tech. Uh, I could, and what I I think I want to actually do this is do some of this. Just get this completed because yeah because it might as well make most of a full belt if we can okay so let's just get these guys Place down all the inserters. Oops, I accidentally went over a light. Or was it accidental? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, um, let's put this one there. And we'll get these guys placed down here. And then we'll have more steel. Not that we really need much. Uh, even with that ammo production, we're not using as much as I thought we would. Which is kind of nice. So that's a good, good thing. Okay, let's take these guys. These are going to go outward. Out, out. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay. I can just walk and take these. Sometimes if they are higher tier, they will override the other ones, but only if they're in the same direction, I think. But anyway, now we now have lots of ammo. This is great. How much do we have in the box here? 92. So it's not... Not making a ton. I think we might just keep this for our weapon and maybe use the regular ammo in turrets, perhaps? I don't know. Seems like an okay thing. Wait, physical projectile? Oh, geez. I didn't change it because I didn't change it. <clears throat> jeez. Silly, silly me. Let's do robotics. Oh, jeez. Come on, brain. You can work some of the time, can't you? Go for it, please. Okay. Anyway, this is... Uh, looks like we're limited right now on grenades. But I don't really want to make that many more grenades. I think it should be okay. We have four makers making them. Though they are incredibly slow. Uh, we could speed them up by having... Getting assembly machines of a higher tier. I guess we could do that. I want to put these also on the hotbar. There we go. So they'll be a little bit faster. Okay, so uh, the question is, do we go after these guys or do we go after the lasers? That's a hard thing. Hard question to answer. Um, Jeez, these are all getting blanketed by pollution. And that's because we have no trees. It is a desert. I think... Let's go for it. Let's just try to go for it. I think, I think that's the best idea, is just to take up a bunch of ammo and just deal with that that way. Okay, let's find our dump chest, or make a new one, perhaps. The one here. We'll put in stone. We don't need iron ore. Actually, the iron ore we can place in these guys. What else? Don't need that. I wish we had lasers, but we do not yet. We have plenty of turrets, which is great. Let's get the wood going there as well. We don't need furnaces where we're going. Um, and I think the rest is just fine. It's not really necessary to clear the entire inventory. We do just need to get a whole bunch of ammo. So is this... This is not limited in any way, apparently. That's most interesting. Oh! Oh, right. This was... Okay, right, okay. Yeah, I, I messed up there. This was the one that's outputting, not inputting. Okay, so we should probably just grab a little bit more ammo as we're going along here. And hopefully take out some of those turrets. Now, uh, we do have the damage bonus. Does that damage bonus apply to everything? Let's just look at this and see. So damage 
on these guys. 20% and shooting speed plus 30%. Okay, so it doesn't... Well, oh, oh. Stacks with ammo bonuses. So it's actually better if we put that AP ammo into one of the, um, the turrets instead. So let's just do that. It's kind of important. Let's fix this wall as well, because this is getting beat up quite severely. I will go... Oh, wow. There's this one as well getting beat up. Okay. And fix. Okay. Now then, I'm going to go out for now. Put the walls back. All right, we shall do our best. All right, so we're going up for, I guess this one, the ones that are closest. Let's let's hope that this does not mess up our evolution score. <laughs> if, if not, we are going to have major issues. Okay, let's just refresh ourselves where things are. Oh, nice, there's a whole bunch of biters there. All right, um, let me put the AP ammo on the bar here as well. Let's put it instead of miners. Oh, geez. Okay, let's move that. Put this one here. And we'll put the AP ammo there. And then, uh, well, no. Uh, we'll put the AP ammo up here. Okay. Wow. One of them, one of the turrets did die, which is not ideal. These guys do not have a lot of... Uh, A lot of durability, seems like. Okay, take care of these guys. Okay, let's see if we can walk through these. We'll just spam like crazy. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's see if we can fix. Wow, those have an AoE. That's really bad. Jeez. Okay, okay, we need to, we need to. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> These are getting kind of tough. Uh, we may actually need the AP ammo for this whole thing. Oopsies. Okay, best not to stand in the poison. Let's go get the other turrets for now. There we are. Yeah, we're down to 186 rounds, which is um, not not that great. I really wish there was a way to set like how much ammo you put in a turret because it seems like to me that you know putting 200 or a, hundred, a stack of 100 is a lot of ammo, really a lot of ammo. And when a turret can almost get insta-destroyed, it's not ideal, uh, for sure. Okay, let's just do this. Start here. Yeah, I'm already doing the half thing. Okay. Okay, this might be a better thing to do. Just kill those with the gun. Wow. Okay, I just want to get these guys. Let's see, there we go. Kill that, please. Whew, wow. Lots of repairing. Kind of makes me wish also there's something better than a steel axe, tech-wise, to be able to mine these faster. But in any case, this will help our defenses because there won't be nearly as many biters coming for us. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, I think I might go get these guys and then come back down that way if I have enough ammo. Hopefully I will. Okay, let's go off this direction. And I'm going quite slowly because I don't want to get killed. Uh, that would be uh, inadvisable. Okay, let's go this way. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, things are things are Okay, I really need to just put some more down here, I think. Okay, good. Very nice. Okay. A little bit hard to see. It's fine, though. It's fine. I need some fish. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Eating fish while standing in poison is not advised. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it's okay, though. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, spitters are here. That is not ideal. Oh, wow. Wow. I need to kill this thing. Kill the worms. We should try a grenade. I haven't tried grenades yet. Grenades do no damage at all. How nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the higher level spawners or I don't know, but yeah, or because I don't have any research into grenade damage, but that, uh, yeah, not ideal, not ideal. So grenades are not, are not a weapon I'm going to use at the moment, obviously. Okay. Looks like we're having trouble making the... Uh, gray science works. Let's get lab research speed. We'll cancel this. Um, that'll speed up our lab processing speed. We'll get explosives, I think. Uh, advanced electronics would be great, but I'll try again for the physical damage. So we'll start that one afterward. That should give it a chance for the gray to build up, gray science to build up a little bit. Uh, so it will be just processed quickly. No need to, because red and green science is producing very efficiently at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We need um, to focus on killing things. I'm kind of terrible at this whole part here. I have to admit. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wowie. Holy fuzzy cats. That was kind of dangerous. All right. Repair packs. I suppose it would be wiser of me to actually put the ammo on like a hotkey. <laughs> um, can I just choose? Oh, you know what? I'm going to choose a different hotbar. Let's go with hotbar zero and make hotbar zero. One is going to be the um, ammo. Two is going to be the turrets. Uh, yeah, since we're not using AP ammo at the moment, uh, I think we'll just leave it at that. I think I just I just want to have masses of ammo to put in the turrets, uh, rather than worrying about stuff. And then three can be repair packs. Let's just do this. Okay, I am really liking this new hotbar system. This is kind of cool. And then we can easily switch it back to one again. Okay, so two for the turrets. Oh. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Two for turrets, one for ammo. Oh, hello, one. Yo, one, please. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think my fingers were on the wrong keys or something. Oh, uh, three for repair. Ah, oh, this is so much better. Using hotkeys is great. Oh. Hotkeys are awesome. All right. Fix this. Fix that. Oh, burning up. Not a good plan. Okay. Great. 
I'll have plenty of stuff here. Okay, two turrets. Yeah, I don't know if I should do... I think I press one more often, perhaps. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're pressed equally, I, I suppose. One. Go. Wrong key. I pressed shift instead of thing. Okay. Kill that, please. Quick, quick. Oh dear. Okay, now we have issues because I've forgotten my hotkeys. Kill that, kill that, kill that. Go, go, go. All right, great. I probably should get out here and build some radar outposts with some gun turrets as well. I kind of need to do that with lasers um, because we really need to know what's up here because I'm sure that this pollution is hitting some more bases. But it's hard to tell which because we can't see them. And the pollution is going off the map here. So when we get lasers, i.e. Uh, turrets that don't have to be re refreshed with ammo, that's probably going to be a good idea. Okay, do we have our car? Here we have our car. Yes, we can um, put the car there. Sit in the car. Go and find the base. It's a little bit faster than walking. Okay, but we don't want to go too far. Just gently, gently. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, it's there. Okay, let's just... Oh, okay, can't get out. Griefing myself now. Let's just entice some of these biters this way. Let's get them killed. Yay. Get some more. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that makes it nice and easy. Let's pick up these turrets in the back so we have more ammo available. Grab one of these as well. Oh, it's dark. Okay, we just... There we go. Nice. Okay, we have done our duty. We have killed a lot of biter bases, and that should make for less attacks. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was like, no, the wall got destroyed. No, it's just a cliff. It's fine. Um, anyway, we're going to go for the oil that's over here. I saw it on the preview map. And, oh, there's some down there as well. But there's a big biter base there. I guess, I don't know if, what would be better to extend the wall this way because that's going to take a while to get that or go downward but then we have to pipe it all the way up here or we could make it make oil down here that is also viable we just have to get the uh, belts to take it up there oh it's so tempting but i feel like this way there's going to be less spider bases probably less evolved ones too look at how many bases are here then there's worms and uh yeah anyway we have run out of time for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I think I'm going to pick up these turrets and then just run back to the base uh, in between episodes so we don't have to uh, yeah, worry about that too much. So thank you so very much for joining me again and take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.